guys, Vikram Prolkar from the Test Suite Specialist team here. And in today's session, we're going to be talking about how Azure DevOps integrates with the UiPath Test Manager. To begin, let's quickly review what exactly is Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps, commonly referred to as ADO, is a service created by Microsoft that provides an ecosystem of different tools to support teams to plan, work, and collaborate together during the software development lifecycle of a specific software application. Now, there are various deployment options. Azure DevOps exists both in the cloud, accessible via web browsers, or on-premises using Azure DevOps Server, accessible via an IDE client. And most importantly, the Azure DevOps ecosystem plays very well with others. So there's an entire marketplace of different extensions that can be used to integrate with very popular services, such as UiPath Test Manager. ADO integrates very well with the UiPath platform. For those familiar with Azure DevOps, on the left-hand side of your portal, you'll have a navigation pane with various tabs. And if we go one by one, each of these tabs will correspond to a different section of the UiPath platform. Boards and test plans integrate specifically with UiPath Test Manager. Repos integrate with UiPath Studio for source control integration. And pipelines integrate with UiPath Orchestrator to provide CI/CD capabilities. Diving deeper, boards specifically allow you to map requirements under work items, typically identified as user stories or epics and map them directly to UiPath Test Manager and the Requirements tab. Test plans allow you to map the test cases created for a specific epic or requirement directly to the UiPath Test Manager Test Cases tab. This allows the developer to then associate an automation directly with the test case. So all test execution results are passed back directly to Azure DevOps test plans. With UiPath Test Manager, there's two types of ALM integrations. The first is a basic ALM integration. In this scenario, ADO being the external tool would be used for defect management, agile planning, and overall requirements management only. UiPath Test Manager would act as the test management system helping you with test planning and results analysis. And it would integrate, allowing you to create defects directly from the UiPath Test Manager UI into the external tool. In this scenario, from a licensing perspective, users of UiPath Test Manager would require automation developer licenses or a tester user license per named user. And of course, organizations would work with ADO to understand licensing there. The second type of integration is a sidestep ALM integration. In this scenario, all defect management, agile planning, requirements management, and test case management would occur within ADO, the external tool. UiPath Test Manager would merely act as a integration layer, allowing users to link automated test cases to those external tools. In this configuration, UiPath Test Manager doesn't require any additional user licenses apart for, from that single admin user that would help set up the integration. And so overall, this is what it would look like. We support both integrations with ADO. So let's take a look at how to set this up. To walk through the step-by-step -step navigation, go ahead and visit our docs page and navigate to Test Manager and the Azure DevOps section under ALM tool integrations. The prerequisites are as follows. First, you need an ADO account. The ADO account needs to have the proper permissions to integrate with service hooks. You need a test manager admin account, and you need to install the UiPath test manager Azure DevOps extension. To begin, first navigate to your ADO portal and create a project. Click this new project tab give yourself a project name, and you'll wanna choose the specific work items process. I recommend using the Agile process type. Once a project is created, go ahead and open it. The next step is to install the UiPath Test Manager extension for Azure DevOps. 
To do this, go ahead and open the marketplace. Search for UiPath and you'll see the UiPath Test Manager plugin here. You can get it for free. Go ahead and select your ADO organization and you'll notice I already have the extension installed for this one. Otherwise, there'll be an install button. To download this for Azure DevOps server on-premise, you would click this download button here. Once installed, the next step is to navigate over to project settings. Scroll down to find the UiPath Test Manager extension. You can then choose the different requirements types that you want to synchronize. Let's say I only want to synchronize user stories. I can check that. And next, we have to give it a server URL. The server URL we were going to choose is we have to first navigate back over to our UiPath test manager. And we want to give it all the information in the URL up until test manager underscore if using cloud. And you'll have your own URL if you've installed it on premise. I'm going to copy that in over here. And the next step that I need to do is within my test manager project, I need to go over to project settings, go to integrations, and then create a connection. So I'm going to select Azure DevOps, give it a name. You can give it an optional description and then pass the server URL. The server URL is going to be everything, including the organization. Paste that in over here. And next we need a personal access token. In order to get the personal access token within Azure DevOps, you'll first navigate over to user settings and drop down till you see personal access token here. I can create a new token. You can define specific expiration. For me, I'm gonna choose full access scope and extend the expiration. Give it a name and hit create. I'll copy this token return back over to test manager and enter it here. If using ADO for defect management, I can then choose a specific defect type. I'll give it a bug defect type. And then I would enter the project name. The project name, if I return over to Azure DevOps, is going to be the information after the organization in the URL. Click create. To confirm the connection, what we can then do is navigate over to our work item section in boards, create a new work item. I've synchronized user stories, so I'll create a new user story. Give it a title. I can give it a description. Hit save. And if I navigate over to Test Manager to the Requirements tab here, I'll see that a few seconds ago, the requirement has now been synchronized. If I then want to synchronize test cases, from a configuration perspective, I'll need to make sure that I am managing tests within Azure DevOps. So return back to my extension, and confirm that Manage Tests with Azure DevOps is highlighted. When I do this, if I decide to go ahead and create a test case for a specific user story, that test case will also be synchronized. If I go to Test Manager to the Test Cases tab, you'll see it's being synchronized here. I can then go into my test case, and link an automation directly from UiPath Studio. You'll notice within UiPath Test Manager, the description and the title are read only. And that's because the integration for these two fields is only one way. To easily navigate to the ADO linked test case or requirement, you can click this hyperlink to open up the external tool associated work item.
Now to show you this in action, let me navigate over to a test case that I ran previously. You'll notice this test case does have an automation currently linked to it, and it was ran a while back. If I navigate over to Test Manager to the Test Plan section, you'll be able to see the historical outcome results for a specific test case. If I view execution history, you'll be able to see all the different times it was executed. And if I go into view test result and enter the run explorer within ADO, you'll be able to see the latest test execution run. The information of the status is going to be passed back. So you can see if I navigate over to test manager, the last result, the last execution did pass. This is the verification. And here is the screenshot. The same information of the verification and screenshot is going to be available within Test Explorer as well. The assertion as a text file and the JPEG or screenshot as a JPEG. You can pre preview the attachments and download them as well. Now, if I'm doing the basic ALM integration, and let's say for any reason this test case execution failed, I can go ahead and create a defect. And when I do that, the defect will be created. And if I open that defect, we'll see it opened in Azure DevOps as a bug. That bug will have the orchestrator logs defined as repro steps and also have the associated screenshots as an attachment. In addition, this bug will be blocking the associated requirement. That brings our session to an end today. In our next session, we'll investigate Azure DevOps CICD pipelines. Thanks, and until next time, bye.